Hello fellow weirdos. Here is another installment in my super casual silly moments of Lost Alpha. Oh my god, I got oh, never mind. And uh, today I am taking you on a tour in the construction site Twilight Zone. That's right, two Twilight Zone episodes in a row. I mean, it was on my way. And <laughs> once again, I'm starting early in the morning, having had an invigorating nap, delving straight into the broken reality. As per usual, I am not going to tell you how to get into the Twilight Zone in this map, but here is your hint. It takes a little monkeying around and you'd better pack some extra anti-rats. <laughs> Ooh, don't you just love structures like this? <laughs> now the thing with uh, the construction site map is that of course it is full of irradiated spots and another thing is that the map itself is so big and meandering that sometimes it is difficult to tell where the map ends and the twilight zone begins but let me assure you, the once you're actually in the Twilight Zone, it's it's pretty clear that you're no longer inside the map. What do we have here? <gasps> A sunny spot. Hmm, intriguing. Looks like clear skies with a chance of radiation. This is one of those spots where the normal map and the twilight zone almost intertwine. Almost. Right now I'm I am not entirely sh certain if I can get back. We are getting irradiated. Let's take a good look at that. That site over there. This uh, scrap heap is a beautiful place in a sunny day. Well, it's not too shabby right now either. because at times I am not fully fully certain either where the perimeter ends and twilight zone begins. Here's a special spot though. One half of the whatever yard this is something something industrial. One part of it is in the map proper and the other half of it is in Twilight Zone. <gasps> the ladder works! <laughs> it is uh, usually, it is uncommon to have working ladders in the Twilight Zone. In fact, I think 
the ones on this tower are second instance I'm aware of. Woohoo! That nice industrial complex. Ooh, radiation! Radiation is magic! Whoa! Okay, this will probably lead to a reload, but I just want to see what's in there. Hello! What's this? <gasps> a very anomalous thing. Oh! We only got the appearance of uh, radiation, not actual radiation. Oh no! Oh no! I have... Okay, I have stranded my... S oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! So, point one, I have stranded myself in this pocket dimension and we are also having a blowout I take it this little shed here is not gonna provide shelter. No, ah, I didn't think so. Oh well. Because we're doomed anyway, I might as well get a good view. this point. Fortunately this uh, yard is not completely uh, enclosed so even though there is some sort of Im Im not impossible invisible border between those buildings there aren't one in this corner so we can continue our little detour. Now this particular nook here is once again one of those uh, uh, one of those locations in in all maps that I have some inexplicable fondness for. I can't explain it. Uh, it might be the architecture. It might be the nature. Uh, might be the combination of the two. Uh, I suspect there's some sort of childhood nostalgia shit going on. Probably to do with the architecture and the nature. Vandalism! Alright, we should be behind the level changer to garbage, I think. Let me check. Oh, yes! Of, I mean... I mean bar. <laughs> the piggies are having a hard day. This isn't even the first one that I have seen go splat. Also, I would like to check whether this tower has a working ladder. I have unhealthy curiosity when it comes to ladders in Twilight Zone. Oh, come on, give me some sunlight. All 
Right, so that working ladder over there was a bit of an anomaly. base and nearing this uh, sort of forested area, kinda, sorta. This corner is one of those when it's where it's difficult to tell the difference between Twilight Zone and map proper, where the hills are kind of layered and terraced and and I'm a bit paranoid that if I take one step too far Ah, oh, okay, so the, the border is marked over here. Where I'm standing now uh, is behind some sort of invisible barrier. So you can't you can't get here from this side. I, I mean from the other side. Now we are behind the well construction site in the construction site. Lovely house, I love this one. If I'm not mistaken, we are near level changer again. Yep. So we need to be careful, point A and point B. We can go into this house. But we should be very, very careful. Don't trust the floor, don't trust the trucks, don't trust anybody or anything. <laughs> this would be a good house to have a picnic, no? Okay, I think we are safely past the level changer. Here we should actually be near a stalker camp. Yep. Hi guys. Yeah, well I used up mine. Well not really, I reloaded, but still. Let's see if we can get through here. And just like that, we are back in. Thank you for staying with us during this Twilight Zone trip. I will see you in the next snippet. Bye!